I remember watching him at prom and I said, you are so cute. You know what? When you get 25, if I'm still alive, <laughs> you come see me. Oh, right now, there's some women that day. used to be friends with your daughter and they with your daddy right now. They grown. They done married your daddy. Your best friend didn't marry your daddy or some of your best friends is they your son. Okay? Let's go. Hey, good day everybody. This is your boy, Nigel, the host of Sigma Male Diaries. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell, ladies and gentlemen, so you'll be notified of my newest Yo, upcoming Franco. videos. Here we go. Also, help me get them 1,000 subscribers, everybody. I'm trying to get it popping. But ladies and gentlemen, have you ever been involved in a situation, whether it was you as a woman, or if it was you as a man on the receiving end of such comments and or remarks when you were a teenager. Not only that, but this is your best friend's mom talking about if she was younger, or let's just say even if you were older, you know that you would be a heartthrob, that you know it would be a lot of women after you, or for example, if I was your age, you will be in trouble. What would give a grown woman or a grown man the inclination of even having such comments or compliments when you're an adult and this is still technically considered and classified a minor? Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to the show. Tell somebody something and they remind you of what you said and you be a woman of your word and you got to keep your word. So I was this little boy that used to go to school with my kids, little Romeo. And I just watched him. He was polite and nice, always just there, take out the trash, give me a little hug. I remember watching him at prom. And I said, you are so cute. You know what? When you get 25, if I'm still alive, <laughs> you come see me. Why that boy knock on my door the other day? And he was like, Miss A. Marie, you remember me? I said, yeah. He said, I'll be 25 tomorrow, tomorrow my birthday. You remember what you said? I said, you remember that? Say yes, I remember it. I thought about it every day. I said, Is that right? I said, You know what? I am a woman of my word. I can't say something and not hold up to it. But uh, bring your birth certificate and stop by tomorrow on your birthday. And I got some birthday cake for you, okay? I'm a woman of my word. <laughs> a few moments later. Oh my darling, people are so fucking confused in the world, no matter how many ways you tell the story. They seem to find a way to narrate it, to make it fit their perverted ass mind. So, again, I'm for sure a lot of y'all. Right now, it's some... Ladies and gentlemen, I like to cut in. You know, yes, yeah, someone has maybe involved in these type of things, but you have to think about it. When it comes to men and women, the double standards... Why is it so unfair for an older man to be involved with a younger woman at the same age of 25 without being called a pedophile, without saying that he want a woman that's stupid, or without saying that he want a woman that he control, or he want a woman that's, you know, just going to listen and be submissive and be a slave. Now, when you look into the context of these things, what are the ramifications if this was a man? Let's say that this is true because she is a comedian. But what would be the end result of a man doing the exact same thing? Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Darius M. I did get this portion of the video off his YouTube channel. So remember to go over there, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and show the brother some love. Women that used to be friends with your daughter and they with your daddy right now. They grown. They done married your daddy. Your best friend didn't marry your daddy or some of your best friends is dating your son okay so y'all keep trying to make it like it was something about a child i'm for sure a lot of young men they didn't they mama was sitting there in presence of their friend and the, and the mama friend said to that lady son when you get grown you're gonna be something else boy if i was your age when you get grown you're gonna be something else boy if i was your age 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 that's how the conversation go. It had nothing to do with a kid. And when the man reached a certain age, 
he's free to play around a motherfucking playground. So y'all keep changing the story to fit y'all perverted ass mind. Toodles. Tell somebody something and they remind you of what you said and you be a woman of your word and you got to keep your word. So I was this little boy that used to go to school with my kids, little Romeo. And I just watched him. He was polite and nice, always just there, take out the trash, give me a little hug. I remember. That's how the conversation go. It had nothing to do with a kid. And when the man reach a certain age, he's free to play around a motherfucking playground. So y'all keep changing the story to fit y'all perverted ass mind. Toodles. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope some of you understood my perspective on this whole thing. You know, once you are in a dark, right, and you're of a certain age, for me personally, I know some people look back and say, well, wow, if that type of woman or man was around during my time, whew. But sometimes you have to think about it. Some things that are psychologically inclined or induced will become a problem in the future. Now, as I said earlier, I'm not sure if she's joking about this due to the fact that she's a comedian, but she's talking about topping off, you know, her son's best friend or one of her son's friends. But still, you seen this man grow up and then she had the nerve to say how she groomed this man. Now, this is crazy. But ladies and gentlemen, it is what it is. Each his own. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe comment share and this is your host king nigel of sigma male diaries some of you might like what i say but then again some of you might not but i don't give a fuck but until next time ladies and gentlemen y'all stay safe be best but i'm at Here we go.